Okay, here's everything I've been in medicine and healthcare this week between November 17th and November 21st, part one. Starting us off, the Health and Human Services Department is changing their language as to how we deal with saturated fats. This represents a major change with shifts towards things like red meat, cheese, and other whole products. Finishing up with Monday, we had a new study with people who had dental infections who followed it up with a root canal and they saw overall improvements in not their teeth, but also their metabolic factors. Not only did they see improvements in overall inflammatory markers, but they also saw improvements in blood sugar and even fat metabolism. On Tuesday, we had a study review of cigarette use of over 320,000 individuals that found that even small use of cigarettes, such as two to five times per day, actually increased your rates of overall mortality, heart attack, and other heart diseases. And lastly, Pfizer released clinical data for a phase three clinical trial of their mRNA flu vaccine that found to be 35% more effective compared to the standard flu shot. However, they did have slightly more short-term reactions, such as increased arm pain, as well as a slightly higher fever when dealing with the vaccine. Now that's all the major news for at least Monday through Wednesday. I will cover the rest of it tomorrow, but if you want to stay up to date with the latest medical and healthcare news, you can find the link in my bio to my Substack. You'll get a daily news article, links to all of the articles, and you'll help support me as a first-year medical student. I will see you tomorrow for the rest of the news.